Hi Birdie, I'm Padma Lakshmi and I'm really excited to show you how to use my new collection with MAC Cosmetics. I spent um, almost three years designing it and this is really the dream kit for me. If you want to have a natural eye with just a lot of lash, you always wonder how darker skinned women like get that look and they look like they don't have any makeup on but they actually do have makeup on. And so I love using this shimmer. This is the contour and shimmer palette called Moon and Shine. So you're going to take your eyeshadow brush and just pat it lightly. Blow off the excess so it doesn't wind up on the bottom of your eye. And then you're just gonna do a sweep. I've started off already with mascara on my lashes and um, like a nice light base and concealer on my face. So you just wanna do that as per what you normally do. And then take this peachy color from the Desert Dusk palette and use the same side of the brush. These brushes are from MAC and my collection too and they're great. One side is more precision based and the other side is for blending. And you're just gonna put it on the inside half of your eye. And I'm doing this both on the lid and up above the crease of the lid. Once you finish that, I like to go in, especially if you're a little darker skin, with a rosy, dusty pink color. And this is the 70s Sunset Palette from the MAC Collection. And so most people would say, this is not bronzy, it's more pink. Well, that's fine, it's more pink. But it's something that's gonna be much more flattering on olive skin tones or medium complected skin. So once that's in, you're gonna take the other end, the skinnier end, of that contour brush. And you're gonna go back to your Desert Dusk. You're gonna use this highlighter color, which is a little bit rosier than the shine from the contour that we use. And so this is just going to go under here, just under the eyebrow. This is when that contour part of the Moon and Shine palette come in, i.e. the moon and then just go underneath the lash line at the bottom. This dual pencil is great. It's got this plum color on one end and it's a beautiful chocolate mole brown color on the other end. And all I wanna do is create a shadow. I don't want it to be like a strong line. And now we're gonna do a natural big mouth. We're gonna do a combination of the nude fudge and the apricot gold. If you're afraid of the apricot gold, you can substitute this rose gold very easily. This whole look is about colors bleeding into each other and looking supernatural. As the day wears on, it'll get even better. And you can see the inside lower inside of my lip, doesn't have any lipstick on it, and that's what I want. I don't want to put the nude fudge all over. I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lip. This is the apricot gold. It is the peachiest of the three neutrals in the collection, and I'm just gonna put that on the inside. And you can see how it creates a two-tone look or a lip-lined look without looking too stripey, without having to blend that lip liner perfectly in. And then this is the two-tone blush. I have peach and rose. I like to just mix them and then just, I don't use this here in the hollow part of the cheek. I use it just on the upper parts and on the apples of my cheeks. If you want to contour, use the darker part of the contour here. And I'll show you what that looks like, but I don't usually contour personally that much. Um, and you can use the same brush. That's why this brush is also angled. It can be used as a contour brush for your cheeks. It can also be used for bronzer and it can of course use, be used for blush. So we're just gonna take it like this and sweep it up and then do the same on this side. And you can see. So this is the third brush and it's also angled as you can see. This is for larger work on the eyes when it's not just such a concentrated area, but I also use it to shade different parts of my face with it. And if you want to, you can just use this to shade in the sides of your nose 
Again, this is not something I do too much of because frankly, I'm not good at it. But I would just do it like this and just not too much. You don't want it to look stripey. And then don't be afraid to blot off. I like to just take regular tissue and get the oil off of my face before I powder. And there is the complete look. So I'm gonna leave everything and I'm just gonna add on to it. And so I'm gonna take this daytime look into a nighttime look by just changing the eyes. You can obviously change the lip if you want, but I think the eyes are fine. And so I'm gonna do a nighttime smoky eye, but I don't wanna use gray or brown or black. I don't wanna look like it's really dark. So I'm gonna use this purple color, which we're calling Mumtaz. And I'm just putting this right at the base and I'm taking this color all the way to the crease and just above it. Then go to the other palette in the collection called the Desert Dusk and use a little bit of the brown to darken it without going too severe. What I love about this is that it's quick, it's fast, you don't have to be precious about it at all. And then you're gonna take the same purple with the skinny end of your brush, the same purple with the skinny end of your brush, blow off the excess so it doesn't go all over your face. You're gonna wrap that color around under your lash line. And in that same palette, I'm using this rosy color, and you're just gonna go over the top. So I'm just gonna take the purple pencil and reinforce it over the shadow. If you don't want it to be so dark, don't use the pencil. So that is how I take my daytime look into nighttime with just one eyeshadow palette. Tell me what you think or if you have any suggestions for me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching Birdie.